Hey, you creepy little critters. I'm going to show you a simple, easy way to corpse just about anything. So what I'm doing, guys, is I'm turning these uh, cats into these uh, corpse cats. Um, now, Oak Lane Cemetery makes some of these. So, but he's got little actuators and stuff in it. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just showing you a simple way where you can corpse just about anything. Um, you can manipulate the, the plastic in these, in these things or uh, take it off if you want to. It doesn't matter, but we're gonna make uh, some of these cats here. So, and I'm showing you how to do that. So the first thing I do with these is I get this neck, I get this neck bent down so it's not so prominent. So it'll be like this. You can see the difference in the necks. So, so now with that being said, and we'll, we're gonna go ahead and manipulate uh, the legs to make it look more, more like a road kill. We'll start with this one here. And there is several different casts that you can get, but these are the best, so they're easier to melt and bend down. Uh, there's several different uh, methods that you can melt this and bend it, but we're using a heat gun. So on this one here, we just want to bend this paw down, make it look like, you know, it's rigor mortis and dead. So that's what we're going to work on right now. So what we did is we went ahead and we already melted and bent all of our joints where we wanted them at. So now our next step is what you'll need is you'll need some latex. So get you some latex. This is mask, mask cast latex, mask casting latex. And you want some of these white rags from Home Depot. And what you do is you take in white rags and you will rip them up and get the hard edges off of them. So take the hard edges off of those and that way you don't have no pretty edges or nothing. And what we'll do is we'll start latexing on our skeletons. And guys, you, you can apply this technique to almost anything, uh, especially skeletons, anything that you're doing. Um, we're doing these. I like the way uh, Oak Lane Cemetery did his. I think he did his a little different, but uh, either or, we're doing corpsing cheap little skeletons here, these little $15, $20 uh, cat skeletons, but you can also use them on big skeletons or whatever it is you want to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to latex one side of this uh, chop towel. Don't have to be pretty, just get your latex on there. And this latex will also serve as a glue. And you will just start laying your latex over your skeleton, however you want to do it. And then you'll take more latex and you'll just latex over that shop towel. And this brush will help uh, get it down to the bone and give you some more fleshy looking uh, texture on your skeleton. And you'll do the same thing as you'll um, coat your outer layer of the shop rag as well. Now another another technique to uh, these skeletons guys, so um, what I like doing with these is bring your latex not all over the skeleton but on parts of it and i will show you why if you can see that foot see how yellow it is compared to the non-latex 
So that's kind of what you want to do. You want to make it look a little bit more rotten, like there's a little bit of yellow and whatnot in your uh, skeleton. So keep that in mind whenever you're doing your skeleton is uh, you definitely want to put a little bit of latex over your uh, bone parts of your skeleton somewhere. Don't have to be all over it, but you do want to uh, add some to your bone. And, uh... You can see the riding on the pavement. Young kids that growing up in basements. Online, a whole new generation. I'ma make mine, so you better go take it. Always they need a new replacement. Decentralized, can't contain it. We're changing lives, yeah, upgrading. Call it suicide of the older generation. Well, young kids, you up and now, yeah. Make all the demons quiet, yeah. We were built to thrive, yeah. I think that we've all had enough. What keeps you up at night, yeah? Make all the demons quiet, yeah. We were built to thrive, yeah. should be dry he's dry so now what we'll do is I mixed up some uh, some black paint this is uh, latex paint and what you want to do is you just want to paint just where the corpsing has been done you don't want to paint the whole skeleton just just a corpse now if you use black uh, latex paint Always remember this paint will come out gray looking, but once it dries, it'll, it'll turn black. So there's that. And I'm just gonna squirt this black paint right on, a, on this here. Anywhere that you put your latex in your, um, shop towel on you want to paint that black or leave the rest of it alone just just what you put your shop towel on
we want retribution Oh yeah, we want retribution Oh yeah, we want retribution So there we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to let these dry, then we're going to dry brush them. Alright guys, our corpses have dried, so our next step is we want to paint inside the guts, the gut area. So we want to blacken that out. And what I use, I use flat black. So you want to do the inside of the guts, inside the mouth, and the eyeballs. Alright, we got one that works. Alright, so we're going to paint the inside of the ribs. Uh, flat black. Okay, you want to do it inside the mouth? You don't have to be perfect. And we want to do uh, this section here. So what we're going to do guys, we're going to dry brush our black and only our black. That's all you need to dry brush. So. Don't have to be a great coverage, just get it on there and uh, best you can. Because uh, it, although this does kind of matter, uh, it's not crucial, but it kind of is, if that makes sense. So your next step is what's going to be crucial. That's what's going to make your, your corpse stand out or your skin, I should say. So just uh, dry brush it and you can see how all those details start coming out. It looks pretty wicked on it. And, uh, I think you don't have to worry about anything inside, just on the outside. Okay, so that's kind of what your your uh, skeleton cat looks like after it's dry brushed. If you can see that, so now now we can stain. Okay, so we will stain him, and uh, we'll just throw it on there. Uh, you want to stain the whole skeleton on this. So,
All right, so now what we got is we got our uh, corpse cat, but we want to add just a little bit of color to it. So we're going to put some guts in this bad boy. And I've made these up. You can look through some of my older videos and I'll show you how to make these guts. So we're going to just put a little bit of uh, hot melt glue in here and just kind of attach the guts so they don't fall out. Now just figure out how much guts you want and how much guts you want hanging out. Then we're gonna cut our gut pile and uh, we will um, latex over top of our gut pile that we cut off and uh, go from there. Uh, let's leave a little bit of gut hanging out. Uh, Okay, so now we got that. Well, what we'll do is we'll put some latex over that end and uh, we'll put some blood on it. So we don't need a whole lot of latex, but you can see where we cut it off. We're just gonna dip it right in there. <coughs> we'll just take our heat gun and heat it up a little bit. Help dry it out. So now that we did that, we'll take some uh, monster blood and we'll coat it up in monster blood. Now we put our monster blood on it. Looks pretty gnarly. So now what we'll do is uh, we'll throw a little bit of clear coat on this bad boy to get him uh, sealed in. Then we'll be ready to rock and roll. So there you go guys. There's a, one of our corpse gutted cats. And this would be a great addition to your haunt or scare actor. Uh, I made it to where you can pull the guts out of it. So. Uh, yeah, uh, you got some guts hanging out of your dead corpse cat. Like I said, this would probably be a good little thing for your scare actors to do. They can just shove the guts back up in the the, the rib cavity of this thing. And it's fairly easy to do. And uh, it don't have to be pretty. Just shoving it back in there. It's easy. It's soft. Uh, And I just tuck tuck it back up underneath there like that. So that's how I just shove it back in there and tuck it. And that's our corpse cat with guts. But there you go, guys. That's how you do a simple corpsing job on these little plastic skeletons. And just play with it. Throw some guts in it. Uh, it don't have to come out like that. I just thought it would be a good little effect if you're in a queue line and your scare actor's up there pulling guts out of its little corpse cat. I think that'd be pretty cool. Well, there you go, guys. We hope you like this kind of content. If you do, consider, I don't know, subscribing, hitting the button, maybe a comment or something. Helps the channel out a little bit. And uh, you can come back for future videos on crazy stuff that we make. I think it's pretty cool. Our little corpse cats, our gutted corpse cats. All right, guys, there you go. There's a little sniblet of how to corpse just about anything. And this is inspired by Oak Lane Cemetery. So go check out his channel. He has a, a putty tat like this over there that he uh, corpsed out and put a motor inside of it. It is pretty neat. Uh, I am not going to put a motor inside these. I just wanted to show you how to corpse these things. They are 
pretty fun to do. They're fun to articulate and melt and figure out what to do with the legs, the feet, the head, all that stuff. And this is a real simple but effective corpsing technique. Now I use this technique on just about all of my corpsing stuff that I do. And I, I think uh, it just looks like leather slash, I don't know, flesh coming off of your bones. It's already shrunk up to your bones and you're just withering away. I think it makes it uh, look killer. Anyway, guys, we hope you enjoy this segment of uh, How to Corpse Just About Anything. And uh, go check out my trio brothers. That's David, The Weird Kid Show. I am your host, The Weird Kid. Go big or go home, kid. That's what I say. So, let's get started. You ready? Let's go. And Keith at Cobwebs and Candlesticks. God damn, that kid was ugly.